Hey guys, Justin Williams here with Sigma 3 Survival School and I uh, wanted to take a second today to show you some of my favorite bushcraft shelters, my survival shelters from 2017. So uh, be sure to stick with me. All right, this next one I call the Greco Bush Camp. Um, it was uh, home to one of our uh, foreign students, international students uh, coming from Greece. And so we call it the, the Greco Bush Camp. And this guy was all about bushcraft. He made mallets, uh, he made bowls, and just overall, it's a, it's a beautiful camp. He, uh, the thing about this one is it's just not your typical lean-to. It actually has a roof coming over the front of it as well. So not he expanded on the lean-to, closed up the entry, and then has a beautiful built bed in here as well. So but the great thing about these two shelters is I got to get my hands on them pretty aggressively in the spring and fall. And then we built this one, the double lean to all this fall. And so um, you gotta have at least three or four layers of boughs. Um, I have a video on me making one of these about this size, maybe a little bit bigger in about four days all by myself. But when you have a group, it definitely helps. So see if I can get you inside here. They did line it, mainly not so much and you can see at the base where it's open so it can draft um, up. And so if you have a fire inside, which they did, um, but mainly the tarp was primarily, I think, to protect from the flames licking and spitting out sparks. But we've got three beds in here, one, two, and then a third one here. And uh, very comfortable shelter system. Definitely encourage you if you haven't ever built one. And this one here is a double lean-to. Um, I did a lot of work on this one and then they did add a door to it here on the ground and then built some beds and uh, I just love double lean-tos guys I don't know why they're just they I guess because they remind me of my modern homes but two very comfortable beds in here a lot of room, a center support beam. That's a big mistake people make is they don't put in proper supports. And then um, I built the fire pit. I think the guys probably made some modifications to it. This next shelter here, I like to call the bunk bed because it's pretty much a bunk bed. It's a lean-to on the bottom with an additional layer of hut on top of it. And uh, it's very unique. It was uh, designed for two people but it eventually turned into a single person and they slept on bottom and kept some of their gear and storage and stuff dry on top. Get you in here. Here's the upper bunk. And it goes back in there. This is a little bit smaller guy. And then the lower bunk for a bigger guy. And then, I don't know if you can notice, but you got your front bed rail and your back bed drill. And then there's a whole nother section back there for gear storage. So this is definitely, you know, a top, one of my favorite shelters. I've, I never would have thought to build a bunk bed in the bush. So we'll call it the bush bunk bed. All right guys, last but not least, um, and definitely it's in my top favorites. Not, I don't know necessarily because of its overall efficiency, but it's aesthetics are huge and when it comes to survival survival is just as much a physical game as it is a mind game and if you can create a shelter that feels like home and that uh, makes you your mind feel at ease and makes you feel protected and safe then that is huge and so we call this I call this one the Queen Bees bungalow uh, had a couple awesome ladies from our fall instructor course course uh, stay in this one and so uh, they built this beautiful rock fire pit. Um, it's almost more like a cabin than any other shelter here. But I'll take you around to the side and show you the inside, which is pretty amazing as well. All right, so let's check it out on the inside. Got this beautiful, once again, fire pit. It's a straight up fireplace. Got a wreath above the fireplace. And then a straight up rock fire pit. I think the only thing they probably could have done different uh, was to take some clay and chink it, which I know they, that was their plan. They just ran out of time with it. And then, uh, well, Bailey's liking it, getting out of the wind. It's pretty windy out today. A double, a double bed with the lean-to. 
and then the grass mat. Um, just a overall beautiful shelter setup. They got some of their wood shavings from bow building day, which is smart to keep your tender dry. So just an overall, the Queen Bee's bungalow is an awesome shelter. I definitely like it. Guys, thanks for checking out my Pimp Your Shelter video, and hopefully you guys picked up some tips and tricks. Want to just shout out to all the students who built these. You guys did a great job. I'm looking forward to 2018. You guys come out and build some shelters with me. So until next time, keep it practical, primitive, and prepared.